Welcome to OSU Center for Health Sciences College of Osteopathic Medicine. This presentation is designed to give you an overview of the history of osteopathic medicine and raise your awareness of the importance the OSU College of Osteopathic Medicine has both in Tulsa and throughout the state of Oklahoma. Andrew Taylor Still, MD, DO, is the founder of osteopathic medicine. In the 1800s, medicine was very primitive with no sterile techniques. Physicians used a lot of drugs that we now know to be toxic, such as calomel. We call it mercury. Doctors performed bloodletting using leeches. If you had surgery, there was a 65% chance that you would die. After six of his seven children and his first wife all died of pneumonia or meningitis, A.T. Still went on a quest to find a better way to practice medicine. Dr. Still then began a relentless study of the human body. In 1874, he had gathered enough information that he began to talk to people about his new idea, something he called osteopathy, and he began treating his patients' muscles and bones in an effort to relieve restrictions and enable the body to take over and heal itself. He believed that the body had all the substances necessary for the maintenance of health. Many people thought he was a genius, and of course many others thought he had gone off the deep end. There were other physicians who were equally disgusted with current medical practices, and they often traveled to his home in northern Missouri to apprentice with Dr. Still. Finally, in 1892, he opened the first college of osteopathy in Kirksville, Missouri, to formally train osteopathic physicians. The osteopathic profession grew slowly and steadily during the first half of the 20th century. But after the war in Vietnam, osteopathic medicine entered a growth spurt that continues today. Oklahoma has been a focal point of that growth, and in 1972, Governor David Hall signed a bill creating the first freestanding, state-supported College of Osteopathic Medicine in Tulsa. The Oklahoma College of Osteopathic Medicine and Surgery was created to help meet the rising need for physicians in rural and underserved Oklahoma. This remains the mission of OSU-COM today. So what is osteopathic medicine? One of our driving forces that we try to instill in our students is the desire to help their patients find and maintain health. As Dr. Still said, anyone can find disease. The book you will also receive today, The Difference a D.O. Makes, will give you a good understanding of what osteopathic medicine is in general and also what it has meant to this state of Oklahoma. The philosophy of osteopathic medicine suggests that structure of the body is directly related to health and disease. Osteopathic medicine embraces all the modern sciences and relates knowledge from all of these areas to help in the prevention and cure of disease. The art of osteopathy is where the physician incorporates the philosophy of the profession with his or her understanding of the basic sciences and then shapes that into the practice of osteopathic medicine in any specialty, whether it be surgery, internal medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, or any other focus of medical care. Doctors still made it plain and clear, to find health should be the object of the doctor. Anyone can find disease. The osteopathic concepts, or the basic tenets of osteopathic medicine, are these next four slides. The first concept is the body is a functional unit. Dr. Still was also a Methodist minister as well as a physician. He believed in the connection of the mind, body, and spirit long before it became popular. This osteopathic concept that each part of the body in some way has an effect on other areas of the body is vital. It is why DOs are trained to look at the whole person. The second concept is that the body possesses self-regulatory mechanisms. Doctors still believed that the body had all the essential substances it needed to maintain health if it was functioning properly. Take a small cut on your finger. If you don't have some other medical issues, it is easy to watch how the body reacts, diagnoses, and treats a small cut. The initial inflammatory reaction brings all the body's natural healers to the surface. To the eventual sloughing off of the final scab, the body is treating itself. The third osteopathic concept states structure and function are reciprocally interrelated. So let's say if you have a gallbladder that is full of stones and it is not functioning properly. 
Because some of the same nerves that innervate the gallbladder also stimulate the area under the right shoulder blade, many times patients with a gallbladder problem will initially present with pain in this area. This is an example of where an organ that is not functioning properly creates a structural problem in the body. The fourth concept simply states that rational medical treatment is based on the first three concepts. Rational treatment may mean surgery or the use of appropriate medication or treating the patient using osteopathic manipulation or any other type of treatment. There are some very significant differences between an osteopathic physician and a chiropractor. DOs are fully licensed physicians and surgeons. Chiropractors are limited to spinal manipulation. DOs, however, practice in every realm of medicine and surgery, plus they have additional skills in treating the whole person with osteopathic manipulative techniques. MDs spend very little time training on the musculoskeletal system, even though it makes up 60% of our bodies. MDs are trained to be more disease-oriented, contrasted to DOs who are trained to recognize disease but to focus on health and prevention. MDs in general do not touch their patients. From day one, our students are taught the value of therapeutically touching their patients, and they are trained in the use of osteopathic manipulation as a part of their diagnosis and treatment. So what is OMM, or Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine? It is a gentle manipulation directed to improve joint motion and decrease muscle spasm and pain. To get a better understanding of an OMM treatment, you may sign up for a free evaluation and treatment on Tuesdays at the OMM Noon Clinic. Each week during the school year, students under faculty supervision provide free treatments. You must sign up a week in advance. Watch your reminder emails from the OMM department. To conclude, here is what makes osteopathic medicine and the OSU College of Osteopathic Medicine unique. Welcome to Oklahoma's finest medical school.